Sorry about the background, but hey, look at this. We're looking at a Americanish girl. Papinya Stewart. I looked at some other vi videos to like figure out pronouns that were more like up to date. This is a pretty up to date video, but. <sighs> hey guys, I decided to make a video like this um, because a lot of you people are calling me an act and a troll in the comments. And so people are calling her an act and a troll, and now she's going to take credit for that because she is backing out of what she said and doesn't double down. And I decided to finally come out and say that I'm an act. So you may be wondering... Um, why have you been acting? Well, I've only acted in a few videos. A couple of them are true, but I don't really, I don't really want to say which ones they are. And act one is probably the American-ish one. But that is severely offensive to some people. And it's downright rude and idiotic. You know, Schmitty, I didn't call her out as being downright stupid. Because she isn't exactly that. I know she's got at least some brain cells. At least she double downs on what she says and doesn't back out. Because then that just shows, yeah, I lied and I only did this for viewers. Now this chick... But, um, I don't know, I just, I'm kind of sick and tired of everyone calling me autistic. You guys aren't my doctors. It's not confirmed that I'm autistic. It isn't right to say someone's autistic, but, like, I've met autistic people, and they're pretty downright awesome. They're really cool people to hang out with. They're always nice. When I went to school, we had a, he was, I, he was a very tall dude, and he'd walk around and give hugs to people, and he was, like, autistic, and had some other issues, but, like, I knew for a fact he was autistic, because I heard it from other people, and I overheard some teachers, so, but, yeah, he was the coolest dude there he was awesome he was so kind he was awesome i can say that for a fact yeah so that's kind of immature of you to just come out and say that it is realize. immature to say that if you don't know but i don't think you look I don't think she looks autistic. I mean, they. I don't think they look autistic or sound autistic. They just sound downright dumb. They need school. How serious of an illness autism is. And it's only okay for me to joke about, like, things without, like, being offensive. Like, um, I'm allowed to joke about a lot of things. What kind of things are you allowed to joke about? Hmm? Are you allowed to joke about autism? Are you allowed to joke about sexism? Nah. Downright stupid. You get the trophy of stupid. That's just it. Okay? That's just it. You backed out on what you said. You should have doubled down. You should have doubled down. Because now I know I can't trust anything you say. Because now that you say everything's an act, or you're just an act, I know you're a comedian and all, but like some of your jokes should probably stay at the pub. 
or should just stay at the stand-up comedians place whatever i've never been to a stand-up comedian place because like i'm too young but i've heard about it and seen it in movies so i got a pretty good idea but i mean some of your i'm assuming the american-ish thing is an act but it was generally offensive to a lot of people, I think, because it was stupid and it was downright, we don't need all these other languages. Th that's just dumb. Like, a person who knows more languages is going to get a job before you. I will be reacting to another one of her videos, maybe. And that's just because I'm a woman. Us women deserve more rights than men, and... Okay, that's downright sexist right there. She straight up said, Women deserve more privilege. Hold on. Let me just get my closed captioning. Like, um, I'm allowed to joke about a lot of things, and that's just because I'm a woman. Us women deserve more rights than men, and... I got that in a quote right there. Let's look at it again. Because I'm a woman, woman us women deserve more rights than men. That's sexist. Sexism can be discrimination against women and discrimination against men i do not believe women should have more rights than men we should both be equal equal i do not care if they lose rights down to our level and everything is the same again or we gain rights and now we're on the same level as long as we equal, I kind of do not care. But that is because I'm an idiotic child. So at the moment, I do not care. But later I might care. <laughs> See that in the quote? The men and... I don't know. I'm just being honest with you guys right now. I just, I think right now... While I'm making this video is the right time for me to be honest with you guys. And you guys have been doing so much for me. You guys are great fans. And I think that you guys deserve to know the truth. So I'm out with the truth. And I'm very, very excited to be able to start making these videos. I'm going to be able to start being myself in my videos. And I'm really, really excited about this. Bye, guys. Let's look at her latest video. Papinha. Look. It's that time of the year, baby. Corona is spreading. People are quarantined. People are dying. And millennials do something stupid again. Millennials? They you are a millennial. Could have been saving up for food storage. Okay, first off, food storage. What do I see you've spent your money on? Bleach to dye your hair and makeup. Along with one computer. Very nice computer, might I add. I have a very crappy one. <laughs> With a nice headset, a nice few chairs, I have a little wooden one that I put my pillow on. So I have some comfort. And that's two different ones. And I'm going to assume there's another computer on the other side. More toilet paper, seeds, building a bunker, whatever the heck they want to do, they spend... Okay, first off, building a bunker. This is not the zombie apocalypse. 
And if it was, I can probably promise you, you would not be prepared. And I am in all seriousness. Because I know, I, me and my dad, we know how to weld things. Like, melt metal onto wood, you know, like, make handles and stuff. Like, if you're a welder and you make stuff with metal, like, big parts, and you melt the metal together... I think that's the welding. We did that on a minimal scale with a little wire. And we made um, tire buddies. It's this wooden stick with a big chunk of metal on the end. Well, tire buddies were good for all kinds of uses. A temporary hammer. And a self-defense mechanism mechanism if someone is trying to get into your car or they cornered you into the car and you can reach for your tire buddy we literally had it engraved in the wood so it was cool but i can promise you we're more prepared than you are sixty dollars on some stupid baby game Animal Crossing? Really, guys? Come on. You could be studying. You could be learning some new languages. You could be... Says the one who disrespected a whole lot of languages and said we only need fonts. That's downright stupid. Shoulda doubled down. Teaching yourself how to play the guitar, and you guys are gonna play some game with some rainbow balloons and bunnies hopping around and stupid villagers who don't even know how to talk to you properly. Come on. I don't even know what the game is about. If you don't know what the game is about, do not post stuff like Animal Crossing is for babies, because that just angers a whole lot of people. Because, like, I play Roblox, and Roblox is, for the most part, targeted towards kids, but older people and adults play them, too. Play on there, too. Because, like, I know for a fact a whole lot of teenagers play on the game. But just by looking at it, I can tell it's a baby's game. Okay, I don't think Animal Crossing would be a baby's game because... I think it's... I haven't played it either, but I think if it, like... I think it's, like, generally hard. I think I had a different kind of Animal Crossing, like on Xbox. I had... Uh, Animal Crossing on Xbox, I think. And, yeah. I mean, if Animal Crossing is a baby's game, then does that mean uh, Candy Crush Saga is a baby's game? Is, like, Candy Crush a baby's game? Because, like, I can state for a fact my dad has over 300 levels on those. Like, I would probably play that when I was sucking my thumb watching Spongebob as a kid. Then again, you were born, like, with a phone in your hand. You guys are so stupid. Oh. Looks like we got a boomer, guys. <laughs> I'm kidding. But if you understand my little reference to another video, it's from, like, Schmitty. The boomer. <laughs> if you understand the reference, comment. Come on. Get a job. Get a life. I don't see you have a job. Because clearly you've got enough time to make these videos and make yourself look stupid. Find something better to do. Grow a garden. Go hunting for your meal tonight. People do not hunt, lady. 
for the most part, especially if they're like closer to the city. You gotta travel a way, like, a long ways to, like, go hunting peacefully. Like, the world is falling apart, and you're just gonna shut yourself out from all of it. Good luck when things finally happen and shops close down and you actually need to fend for yourselves. Well... I see you have enough time to make all these videos. And I don't see or recognize any skills. You have not said anything about any skills you have that could possibly help you actually survive. Therefore, if the millennials are doomed, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure you're doomed too. Okay. This is a stupid girl. Bye, guys.